Yo, what is up, peeps? This is Proud Demon Reaper, and with me today is... The ever-beautiful Phoenix. And today we are going to be talking about a more morbid topic than the ever-beautiful Phoenix. We will be talking about suicide. And since you guys have asked for this, I'm guessing that you guys want to hear personal experiences and things of that nature. So for that, I'm going to let Phoenix start. Okay. Um, to begin with, we've both had experiences with that, and obviously not as in we have committed suicide, but, you know, we we have dealt with friends who have wanted to commit suicide and dealt with the contemplation of committing suicide. I know both of us have. Um, my personal experience... Um, if you guys watched the last video, you know a little bit about me. Um, I have OCD, I have clinical depression, and I have anxiety. And needless to say, that's not very fun to deal with. And especially when you're young and they haven't figured out exactly what's wrong yet, so you don't have any medication, you don't have any way to combat anything. It's kind of exhausting, um, and it just kind of drains you, and it makes you miserable. Um, so, for a very long time, I wanted to just, I didn't want to die, but I just wanted it to be over. So, inevitably, it kind of led to, I just want to die, so it will just end. But, um, as Demon Reaper will tell you, I am a very, very stubborn person. Um, she and can't I, go through with it. She never will. <laughs> that, that's pretty much how it works. Um, I did not want to accept that as an option. So, I was too stubborn to commit suicide, basically. Um, and I don't know if that's rare. I don't know if that's common. I have no idea. But um, that was my personal experience. And with people that we've dealt with that have wanted to commit suicide, it's, it's kind of hard to really tell if someone's serious about committing suicide. But let's put it this way. Don't ever take a threat as joking. Take it as 100% serious, and that way, if they're joking, then you'll find out they're joking, and everything will be okay. But if they're not joking, you want to get them help as soon as possible. So... And it's usually more serious if they already have a plan. Yeah, that's usually when you really need to tell somebody. Um, and that's the thing, is don't feel bad for telling someone. We have a friend um, that wanted to commit suicide in high school. And he told one of our other friends about it because he thought that she wouldn't tell any of us and she wouldn't tell an adult. So he told her. Well, she came to me um, and told me about it. And she hadn't actually told anyone. And he was going to commit suicide that weekend. He had told her he already had a plan. And so I went to our school counselor and basically gave him away as soon as possible. And he was not very happy with me. But... Um, he ended up getting some help, and after that, um, it was one of the most meaningful times in my life that I got to share with him, because when he came back, he just kind of looked at me and said, thank you. I, I didn't want to have to die, but thank you. So, in the end, it doesn't matter. I, I didn't care if he would hate me forever. I would rather him hate me forever and be alive then like me and die that weekend. So that that seemed more important to me. Um, and it worked out. And it's it's really hard. <laughs> there's no there's no sugarcoating it. There's no nice way to deal with it. It's miserable and sometimes you can be really tempted, but I know some people ho hold the view that it's almost a greedy decision. To commit suicide because in their view you're thinking of only yourself and not the people you're leaving behind who will miss you and who love you and in a way that's kind of true but in a way I disagree with that because when the pain is that bad that you want to commit suicide it's almost like it doesn't matter it doesn't matter how many people you know care about you when you're that miserable you're not willing to admit that people care about you you just want the pain to end. So, 
I don't think anyone should ever feel greedy for wanting to commit suicide. It's, it's a serious problem, and you need to get help, but that's when you go to those people that care about you and ask for help, and if one of them tells you that you'll be fine and just suck it up, well, go find somebody else to talk to. Because just don't they are... stop, don't stop trying to get help. Uh, my personal experience on it was a little bit different. My background is more of I've had ADHD and have had taken medication for it since I was at a pretty young age. Whether I was supposed to or not was, based on my parents, very debatable. But I uh, took medication for it since an early age, and due to the medication, some of the adverse side effects were thoughts of suicide or suicidal tendencies. So with that, it kind of made me react to things in a certain way, and it kind of just made me feel that a lot of things that I used to enjoy didn't have much worth. There wasn't really much worth in a lot of things I did or wanted to do. And since I didn't find any worth in anything, I just kind of felt bored. Not exactly like uh, the way that Phoenix put it, where it was being in pain. For me, it was rather the fact of Nothing in life was fun. Nothing in life felt really enjoyable. It wasn't exactly a negative experience. It was more just boredom to the point where I didn't want to live because there was nothing worth doing. So I kind of went with that and it put me at a really dark part of my life, especially at that young of an age because I didn't really know the full effect of what would happen had I actually thought about going through with it. But thankfully, I did not think about completely going through with that sort of venue due to mainly myself, but also a little bit of my friends at the time helping me kind of deal with some of my issues, helping me rekindle some of the things that I actually used to enjoy before I had the suicidal thoughts. And it kind of pushed me back into a better state of normalcy kind of gave me a little bit better view on life until I finally got over the whole side effects of the medication. I finally got back away from medication, found a better groove of things, kind of got back to my old self. And then from there, things kind of just picked up, I guess. So I've had to deal with the whole suicidal thoughts and tendencies issue, but at the same time, it wasn't exactly a normal experience as far as people who normally think of suicide would go. At least that's what I'm kind of basing it off of. I'm not exactly sure why people would go to, towards suicide, but I think that the reason I did was kind of not along the normal base. I'm not trying to argue with you here, but one tidbit. Um, you mentioned that it kind of brought you into a dark part of your life. It may not have started as sadness, but I think that boredom and that hatred for everything that you used to love, that's usually a sign of depression. That would be why in high school I could sleep 16 hours and still be exhausted because nothing was worth getting up for. Mm -hmm. So it may have felt like utter boredom, because that's what depression feels like sometimes. But um, that probably had some tidbits of depression in there, too. I would not be surprised. So. And with but, your background, I wouldn't be surprised either. Especially th your dad. Yeah, thankfully, both me and Phoenix have kind of gotten better hold on everything and are a lot further from that than we were in the past. Yeah, it's pretty much not an option at this point. <laughs> yeah. There, there is no contemplation. There isn't a question about it. There's not even that much thought toward it anymore. And that, that kind of comes with age a little bit. The older you get, the better perspective you get, um, which I know some of you probably hate hearing because you hear that from your parents. But um, Especially me, since you guys are like 10, 12, 14. <laughs> For me personally, just the older I got, the more I realized I had so much that I wanted to do with my life, 
and so much I wanted to try and experience that I don't want to die. I'm not ready to go. I want to live for things that I haven't gotten to experience yet. I want to do all of it. And if I committed suicide, I'd never get to know. And as far as we know, whether your beliefs are Christianity or... Taoism, Buddhism. Taoism, Buddhism, Hinduism, anything. As far as most of us know, I know some Hindus and Buddhists, well, mostly Hindus, believe in reincarnation. But for most of us, we believe in, you know, you get one chance and then you go to heaven. So as far as we know, that's it. We don't know what comes after. We don't know if reincarnation is real or not, because even if people are reincarnated, they don't remember. So you can't tell people, you know, oh, I'm a reincarnation of myself. You have no idea. So and anyone you... who puts YOLO in the comments gets smacked, by the way. Just putting that out there. Yeah, please don't put YOLO, because I will find you, and I will hurt you. But just, you only get one chance. Why would you end it so soon when you only have one chance anyway? I would have to agree with Phoenix on the fact that the older I've gotten, the less I've thought about it, the less I've even th thought about considering it. Because, as she said, there are a lot of things in life that I do still want to do. There's a lot of hobbies that, had I gone through with it at the age I was at, I would not know it even existed. At the point where I was contemplating the whole suicide thing, YouTube, as I'm putting these videos out for YouTube, didn't even exist yet. So that wasn't there. A lot of the things that I enjoy now did not exist. Uh, a lot of movies. I still remember when smartphones didn't exist. Th th those were good days. Uh, back when flip phones were fun, th those were also good days, but that, that, that's the tangent. Uh, I remember when razors were the most popular thing. I know. Yeah, I'm sorry. To we're a lot probably, of you guys... We're probably making you guys feel extremely old, because you probably have no idea what we're talking about. But Yeah, we probably look really old to some of you guys, but for some of you that are like in their 20s who are watching this, they're, they're right. you're right there with us. Yeah. You know you, what we're you talking about. You know what we're talking about. Uh, sorry to get off on a little side tangent on that, but there were a lot of good things that I would have missed out on in life had I gone through with that. And there's still things, even now in life, that I want to do. I kind of want to find... I know this sounds really corny or really romantic, really hopelessly romantic, but I don't care. I want to find a girl, settle down, and just start a family eventually. It, adopted family, regular family, I don't care. Probably just have one kid. I don't think I could deal with more than one. But, I need a little button that does the aww sound. Yeah, but I just kind of <laughs> have a lot of things in life that I still want to do. I enjoy making vi YouTube videos for you guys, and had a, I still want to keep doing that for the future. You guys make my day. There are so many comments or messages that you guys have given me that make my day. That I would not give it up for the world. You guys literally keep me going on a lot of things so thank you guys for that as well as I could never see myself even going towards suicide ever again and part of it is due to you guys part of it is due to people like the amazing Phoenix here <laughs> I could never see myself going back to that time I couldn't never see myself even getting close to that so there's a lot of things I'm glad I've been able to do since then and for any of you who are going through suicide, suicidal thoughts or tendencies right now, I know what it's been like and I know where you're coming from. And if you learn anything from this topic that you asked for today, just kind of try to find help if you can. And if you've gone through it in the past and you find a lot of the things that we've been, that me and Phoenix have been saying to be true, just kind of post in the comments or something but i hope you guys enjoyed this video leave a like and favor if you did and subscribe to see more random videos awesome videos gaming topics like this skits whatever i have coming out 
uh, in the near future. Uh, peace out, guys. You guys are awesome. Deuces. Don't forget to visit my channel, because that has a little bit more advice, too. See you guys later.